Where is the next big Brexit battleground? Could it be the Commons, the Lords again, or the next big by-election? Or could it be a battle of the mind and the body, as one UKIP MEP takes on a Liberal Democrat at Chess boxing. Well, you might not have heard of chess boxing, because I certainly hadn't, but it's a sport that sees competitors fighting alternate rounds in the ring and then on the chessboard. And next month sees the UKIP MEP Jonathan Arnott take on a Lib Dem activist in what's being billed as something of a Brexit grudge match could be a much quicker way of sorting out differences over Brexit than an all-night debate in the House of Lords, although no doubt a little bit more painful. Well, here we are, joined now by Jonathan Arnott. Oh, look, giving it his, giving it his all there, who, as you see, isn't prepared to take even a moment away from his training. Oh, good. I like the duck there. I'm afraid I am going to have to break into your focus and concentration. You smiled there at the end. Do come and take a seat here. Thank you for demanding. Certainly, the boxing bit of the chess. I presume you have to take those off to do the chess bit. I do, yes. <laughs> otherwise, the, the pieces go all over the place. And, and I won't. I won't be boxing in a suit. Believe me. Oh, no you won't be. No. Well, whatsoever. thank you for wearing a suit. <laughs> tell us what is chess boxing, then. Come on, tell us a bit more about it. So it's, it's basically what it sounds like. You, you play speed chess for, for three minutes. A bell rings. You put your gloves on. You box for two minutes. Alternate rounds of chess and boxing. And then you win the game either by checkmate or knockout. Yeah, well, that sounds fairly straightforward. Now, your Lib Dem activist opponent, we asked him to come on, but I don't think he was available. So, of course, we've gone one better yeah. because we have the Lib Dem leader. So, we're not going to do the boxing bit, you'll be shame. pleased to know. Trude oh, Trude are you a good boxer? No, Trudeau's good at boxing. <laughs> I'm trying to emulate him in other ways. But, oh, well, uh... the Canadian Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to get you to do a little bit of speed chess. Oh, do you okay. think you can do that and answer the questions? I mean, not, not well. No, well, no one's going to judge you on that. <laughs> right. um, so, hang on, okay. tell us how good you are at chess, Jonathan. I am I'm re reasonably good. I, no, come on, be honest. Go. Come I, on, I be was, honest. I, I was Yorkshire captain there for a couple of years. I've played in some international competitions, so, so fairly decent. You are fairly decent. Well, better than your boxing, you think? Well, it can't be much worse than my boxing, can it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what has instructed you in politics, <laughs> chess or boxing? Oh, well, I think politics is, is always a little bit of both, isn't it? You know, it's... Gosh, um... you're doing quite... Well, you are doing it quite quickly. When was the last time you played chess, by the way, Tim Farron? Uh, oh, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so is this is about Brexit? Is this, a... is is this going to be that about Brexit? Remarkable. Look at that. So I'm down. Oh my God, you are checkmate. Yes. There's no way out of that. There right. you go. You have to start again. Yeah. yeah. No. How quickly again. did you do? That was... How quickly no, 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 did you, you do that? Exactly. So just to demonstrate that I'm that I'm that I'm done for. There you go. I'm good at pop quizzes. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, boxing and chess, it reminds me of Alan Partridge, you know, monkey tennis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, but I thought I it was about the mind and the body. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now, tell us why you're doing it, though. Well, I'm, I'm doing it to raise, well, to raise money for charity, a uh, wonderful charity, Act for SMA. A uh, colleague sadly lost their baby daughter back in uh, October uh, to spinal muscular atrophy, and the charity that helped them act for SMA was absolutely fantastic, so I'm trying to raise money for charity. And I thought, you know... I could, I could do all sorts of things to uh, to raise money, but doing this, it's not something that anyone would ever expect of a, of a politician. It's certainly not anything no. that anyone would expect of me to well, step it, into a box. Well, it surprised us. Hopefully, people will yeah. donate uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more because of it. So, right now, uh, what about so. the fact that it is all about Brexit, which will please, of course, Tim Farron, no doubt, since he loves <laughs> to talk about it. Is it a Brexit <laughs> grudge match? Well, you know, I'm, I'm up against a, a Liberal Democrat and it would be far be it from me uh, to say that it would be nice to have the opportunity to put, punch a Lib Dem in the face. <laughs> oh! I, I would never... Oh. I, 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 would I think you keep got it's into problems with him. some of yeah. those <laughs> things in the yeah, box. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> we're, keeping the, we're keeping this one strictly in the boxing ring, don't <laughs> we? Right. And what about you, Tim Fran? Would you like to see differences over Brexit and leaving the European Union fought out in the boxing ring? I prefer monkey tennis. You prefer yeah. monkey tennis yeah. to chess. So what does it say about your... Prowess at chess. It's not very good, is it, really? Uh, was I beaten in four moves? Oh, uh, it was not no, many, anyway. It was not six, many. Well, all I can say is he's well set up for I the match. I wasn't paying attention. I hope, your Lib Dem colleague is, I hope your Lib Dem colleague is better at it. I'm now, sure there's just is. time before well, we go is. to find out the answer to our quiz. And the question was about a plan by Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell to foster Labour Party unity. He's said to be planning to launch an offensive to win over colleagues. But what type of offensive was he talking about? A charm offensive, A. B, a T offensive. C, a military offensive. Or D, an offensive smell. Tim Farron, what is the correct answer? Apart from Labour just being genuine offensive at the moment. That is a tea offensive, isn't it? It is a tea offensive. So it sounds a little bit more gentle than boxing in the ring, then. Well, I, I've never been to a PLP meeting, but I'm told that that is nothing compared to, uh, uh, to a boxing match. 
Jonathan Arnott, thank you for coming into the studio today with your chess and your boxing. That's it for today, and thanks to all of our guests. The One O'Clock News is starting over on BBC One now. Bye-bye.